So if you're on TikTok, you definitely know today's guest. And even if you're not, well, you might want to ask your mom. <laughs> she might know who he is, and I'm not being snarky. Let's welcome Young Gravy. What's up? What's good, baby? Welcome Great to Astros here. World here on Pitbull's Globalization. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Shout out to Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> happy to be here. Now, should I call you Father Gravy or Young Gravy? Poppy. Oh, hi, Poppy. Because we are we are on the Latin station. Perfect, Poppy. Hi, Gravy. Poppy. All right, well, before the moms or their kids come for me, uh, you started this trend on TikTok called the Young Gravy Mom Trend. So can you fill us all in on that? Yeah. Um, I guess it wasn't even really fully myself who kind of put, you know, it wasn't really premeditated. I, I guess I sort of just, you know, expressed my interest in MILFs, and then uh, a lot of them decided to sort of almost submit, like, a video resume. And a lot of the sons and daughters of, of moms were also pitching their mothers. It, it, it got kind of weird, but it was cool. It was cool. It just, it's just where the Internet is, is a wild place. It so is. You never know what you're going to find. My DMs and the TikTok videos I'm getting sent and everywhere. It's just literally yeah. like, bro, please <laughs> fuck, fuck my mom. It's just it's <laughs> all over. It's wild. But I got, you know, I got respect for it. It's, you know, it's, it's cool. I, mean, I can't complain. Speaking of the DMs, are, is it that MILFs slide in there or all ages slide in there? Or do you slide into people's? Like, how does it work? Uh, it's they're all sliding in. All I mean, whether it's the kid pitching the mom, whether it's uh, the mom sliding in. Sometimes we're talking like older women who are sliding in where it's a Facebook message, but it comes through Instagram. You oh, know? gotcha. Because they don't have it. They're just on Facebook. And then um, I think the most common is just like girls around my age who are like, oh, I have a dog. Does that count? <laughs> yeah, it's just it's 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 fun. You know, I get bored sometimes when I go look at the messages. It's flattering, I guess, you know. Now, one other thing about the MILFs. Would you date a MILF that's around your own mom's age or older or younger? Uh, or are you looking more at weird. younger MILF? Be a weird. Yeah, I mean, younger MILFs. Uh, my, my mom's 66. Uh, I'm 26. So, yeah, that's a that's a bit of a, a range there. Um, and especially if they were close to my mom, then I don't know, it would make it weird in some way. I could never date a girl that had the same, my mom's name is Cynthia. Or I, I don't think I could ever date a girl named Cindy or Cynthia. You know, it's just, a, it's just a weird, That's very weird. you know, it's just a weird vibe. <laughs> so if you're just tuning in, we are talking to Young Gravy here on Astra's World. You have this certain swag about you. How and why are you single? How and why am I single? Um, it's less stressful. I like being single, you know. I mean, I have, I have like homegirls, lady friends that I'm, I'm mad tight with. Um, Situationships? Uh, yeah, we define situationship. You know, just like a friend with benefits. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of, I have a lot of good friends in, in that realm. Um, but I think having like a whole girlfriend, um, it just causes stress and, and je I don't like jealousy and all that. And, and um, I'm so tight with most of my exes, you know, like, like I'm, I'm, I've had girlfriends, and I, and, and, and I got love for, you know, long-term relationships, but I think right now it's just I'm in a space where, where I don't want to, like, create jealousy or hurt anybody, so so I love, you know, well, high five situationships. To us single people. High yeah. five to us. High five to us. <laughs> now, you're besties with Martha Stewart. How did that happen? Uh, so I actually made a song called Martha Stewart because um, she, she kind of just embodies everything gravy. It's, you know, she's – Sticking around MILF. She's kind of a thug. She, I'm not saying that I'm a thug, but, you know, I just. I'm a, you just like to hang around the thug. Part of my rap, you know, what I wrote our rap about. And, and, and she's in the kitchen. I don't know. It was, it was very fitting for, for, a gravy, for a gravy song. Has she taught you the difference between brown gravy and Italian gravy? Uh, I just learned today from, from the New York, New Jersey fellas here that what, like, you know, people just call it gravy. Yeah. Like I sauce. thought I was going to be the one to teach you about that. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> no, but, but Martha, Martha heard the song somehow. Um, I think someone on our team must have showed her and then she was just hyped on it. So then we did a whole, uh, campaign for a new product line that she dropped and it was playing in theaters and it was, it was awesome. We did the commercial together. Shout out to Martha. I uh, every time I'm I'm we're in the same area we we, we hang out. I love it. We're I tight. love it. So we got Young Gravy hanging here on Astra's World. I know you worked with T Pain, Lil Wayne, Lil Baby, and so many others. Who are some other artists on your collab list? Like your dream collab list? Collab list. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, I w there's so many of the people that have that, that have passed away that I wish I could collab with. Like who? X Peep, Frank Sinatra. 
Uh, D. Martin. Is D. Martin alive? I don't even know. No. Okay, I didn't think so. I, I thought I was going to say that, but yeah, people like that, you know, that that'd be awesome. I guess I guess uh, Bobby Caldwell would be dope. He's uh, sort of in that uh, that space. Tar the Creator, I think, could be cool. Mac DeMarco could be cool. Um, honestly, I, I I had a list of collaborators and I and I and I got them all, and and now it's like. Uh, Working with the homies, I think I think Young Nudie and I might have some coming soon. Uh, Cochise, I always love working with Chief Keef. We're always gonna keep making music together. So um, some of just those dope rappers that I that I love listening to, plus opening, you know, going a little bit outside of hip hop and trying like Mac DeMarco type artists. I mean, what about our boy Pitbull? He gets all the ladies. I I'm sure love, he gets some milfs for you. You know, I'd love to work with Pitbull. I got a song on my upcoming album called Mrs. Worldwide. Ooh. It's not really like about Pitbull. It's just it's just about like you know different cities that I like you know love and and women from them, and uh, I want him to hear that. Maybe he'll, he'll hear that he'll hear that song and then want to collaborate on the remix or something, or we can get something going. Pitbull, okay. I would love to I'd love to work with Pitbull. Or any, honestly, there's a lot there's a lot of Latin artists I love to work with. Maluma, Bad Bunny, all mm-hmm. them. They're dope. I so. mean, of course, of course. Now the fans they've been hitting me up. They want to know when they can expect an album. Soon. Really soon. Yeah, soon uh, can mean today, tomorrow, next year. What? Soon define? means uh, basically before it gets cold in, in the U.S. If you're in the U.S., before winter. Um, so in the fall. In the fall. Okay. All right. I Good. guess, yes. Yes, in the fall. So hopefully September, October. Perfect. It's and done. It's great. It yes. slaps. And I got a single drop in before then. Yes. Uh, What's that going to be about? Uh, living your life. It's called Say La Vie. So, the single's called Say La Vie. It's about just living your life. It's 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 like a summer vibe. So hopefully drop in like early September, and then uh, the whole album is it's it bangs. I love the, I love the album. It's my best work to date. Um, I just got good at like making music. You know, I was mm-hmm. rapping before, I'm still rapping, but I've learned how to actually make music too. So I'm doing a lot more than just the lyrics and this is coming out i feel like right around the time your new tour baby gravy starts which is november uh Mm -hmm. for someone who hasn't seen you on tour what's your show like show's pretty wild um i have i have a bit of a cult fan base where like where a lot of people at the show know every word every song um so the energy is really high i love like you know kind of doing improv sets like like I, we have a set list but but I, I talk on the mic more than most people but it's like it 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 works it works out well um it's like more than just a, a music show and uh it's an experience it's an experience uh there's theatrics involved we got like I don't know a lot of wild things I love like interacting with the audience uh I mean on this last tour I used I used to just like Whenever I'd play my song Rotisserie, I used to just pull out a full rotisserie chicken and start feeding that to the to the fans. Uh, I used to. I Do you used let to, them lick your fingers? I mean, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh you know, my goodness. This is pre-COVID. I'm hoping. Yeah, and and before that, I was like giving people cups of milk and then pouring cereal and everything. More lately, it's been a little more you know tame because of COVID. So I usually sign some Lunchables, throw those out. Lunchables. And then give out roses at the end. A lot of times, you know, I. I there are videos out there of me feeding strawberries to fans, which is, is pretty wholesome. Ooh, you're making me hungry now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so so I like to, uh, you know, interact with the crowd. But but this Baby Gravy tour coming up, it's, I'm co-headlining with Baby No Money. We work on a lot of stuff together, and it's going to be, like, even more theatrics. Like, we're going to get – I think what we want to do is get, like, the vi- – wow. <clears throat> the visuals made in the background. Like, like car- basically, like, it's almost like going to be like a TV show, a cartoon, where we're going to have, like – a whole show going on during the like like a TV show combined with the rap show. It's like a story. I don't know. I don't know. We're we're both weird and creative, and I think it'll it'll come out sick. Amazing. So young gravy hanging out with us all hour here on Astra's World on Pitbull's Globalization. I gotta first say I'm impressed with your musical taste because you range from like the 50s to the 80s with your remixes, and it, this is all before your time, before you were born. Mm-hmm. Are you an old soul? How did you find out about this? older classical stuff to me that music just sounds so much better man i i I just love all that you know frank sinatra patrice russian that whole you know like you said like 50s to to 80s even you know 90s stuff i love hip-hop too but but uh i think i found a lot of that just like on youtube it was youtube limewire when i was in high school 
I would just, you know, get high and go on YouTube and like go through like the sidebars and find these old albums and torrent them and listen through all this stuff. And and I've been, I guess old soul is a good way to put it where it's not like I was really like, like my parents weren't, weren't listening to that. It was just kind of what I found and soul music is what really stuck with me the most, like Motown vibes. So that's, that's my favorite. I love for that. Sure. Well, before we kick into your latest song, I got a few ideas for some songs that you might want to remix okay. that are just up your alley or... I All might right. think that they are. Mm -hmm. Jesse's Girl from Rick Springfield. I've heard, I've, I've been recommended that. I've thought about it. Okay. Take On Me from AHA. Uh -huh. Thought about that one. I like Jesse's Girl more than Take On Me. Okay. But and then since you're into the MILFs, Stacey's Mom. Stacey's Mom. I hear that. All the time. Damn! Yeah, I, and I, I thought I'd be original here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's creative. Well, then if you're hearing uh, it all the time, maybe you got to get it done. So, so it's a lot of people. It's 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 hard to sample a song. A lot of songs are hard to sample when when someone's singing over the whole thing. You know, you, you got to sample the instrumental. Uh, Stacy's mom. We're gonna work on that one. I think yes. I think it's a possibility. Yes. But like a lot of these things, it's like it would you know. You, you can't, can change you it can't, to Astra's mom if you want. Yeah, we'd have to do. All right. <laughs> Your, your mom, your mom would, would be down with that, or just <laughs> maybe, maybe just I don't know. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. You like the one namers. I'm just giving you a one namer. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that uh, all those, you know, it it, it could work. It, there's, there's some songs that are just hard to sample, but uh, you know, we have a lot of dope. I, I've had a lot of cool ideas of samples coming up. I uh, I got a song dropping. It probably be the next single off this album, uh, where we sampled the Nutcracker theme. Mm. Wow, the, the Waltz of the Flowers. Very cool. Uh, if anyone wants to look that up, that's that's gonna be a banger. I, usually, what I do with that, we have the beat. I I'll, I'll usually in any city I'm in, I'll, I'll I'll play that beat live, and then I'll just kind of freestyle about the city I'm in, and just like rap some random shit, like just you know rhyming with you know we in Oklahoma, you know I don't know just wherever I'm at. Well, New York but, City better make it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New all York right. City, yeah, all them shit. You know, <laughs> shout out to New York City for them. And of course, Gorgeous the titties. song everyone knows right now. What made you choose the remake of Rick Astley? It's a legendary song. I uh, I've always wanted to sample that, and the I just figured it wouldn't be possible. I figured that like we wouldn't get clearance, and then we said, "Fuck it, let's try it," and uh, it worked out just fine. Listen, if Family Guy can get clearance, you can get clearance. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> think about it like that but yeah i guess so 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 you want to do me the favor of kicking into your your song right now so everybody can check it out yeah how do i kick in so just be like just introduce your song introduce and say myself. on astra's world uh, okay. on people's globalization <clears throat> what's good baby it's young gravy you about to hear betty by yours truly this is astra's world mr world what on people's globalization should i just, just say on, on people's globalization 